Let's give all these producers in this room 60 seconds of advice on how to be working in this environment. Nathan, let's start with you. Sure. Um, I would say be proactive, um, schedule generals, get in front of people, create relationships, um, let people know, and speaking very uh, specifically about the Huffington Post, the types of content you do, what you're really good at, the types of audiences that respond to your content, the types of ideas you have, and just open up a dialogue. We're always looking for good ideas, and we're always looking for good producers to make ideas that we have. So. Um, Reach out to me afterwards. I'll be around here. I'd love to, to, to meet some of you. Um, and let's just open a dialogue. And, and as I said, hopefully we can find some ways to make really great things together. Great. Steve? I think um, uh, you know, the best thing that folks can do is focus on that specific audience. You've got a global audience. There's nothing really stopping you from reaching that audience. Um, but the way you achieve that reach is to specialize. I don't think you can go out and be just generalist and do any weddings, parties, anything. Um, I think you've got to choose your audience and, and then really cater to that. That's the authentic part and then with consistent fa fashion. Obviously, as a software maker, we make the tools, we'd love you to help to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, definitely understand your, uh, understand the aud your audience. Be trend smart. Um, I think that's important. Um, you know, every day I go into work, that's a lot of what I do is look at what's trending, what's, what people are watching. Um, so, and also if you're trying to do branded content, um, spend some time researching the brand uh, and understanding the brand before you're thinking about pitching. Um, in addition, I would definitely say that specialization uh, that they've uh, spoken to is, will take you a long way. Evan, we're gonna skip you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, who won that game last week? Um, <laughs> Uh, so I lost a bet. That's how I got on this panel. No, um, I, I think I'm going to say something controversial. Just A, so I don't repeat everything that's smart that was said uh, before me. Um, but B, also because uh, this happens to just be how I run my business. There are, there are five or six agents in this business who, when they call me, I pick up the phone every single time. Some of them even actually have my cell number. And so, you know, there's a couple agents at WME, there's a couple of agent, agents at CAA, there's a number of agents at UTA and Gersh. And when they call, I pick up the phone because I know that they know what I want, what I need, and they know when I see it, I, I, there's a good opportunity that, that, that I'm gonna take. So, I, again, this is probably controversial for this room, but find a great fucking agent and have that person work on your behalf because they'll educate you about what the needs are in the marketplace. They talk to all the networks, they talk to all the agencies, they talk to all the other partners, they have access to talent, they package well, and when an agent packages well, I'm happy to pay that packaging fee because it comes a, as a package that I can actually execute versus an idea that would be great someday, maybe, but I don't know. And, and just to de demystify the process for a second, I mean, agents are looking for great producers. So don't feel as though they're not looking for all you guys in this room. Joe. Um, I think well, Priyanka touched on this, but it, it's research. You know, research who you're, who you're reaching out to. Find out what the agency's all about, the network or provider. Find out what they're all about. Find out what their values are. Find out what they're really good at. Research their clients uh, before you reach out to them. And, you know, just try to avoid the copy and paste email uh, <laughs> blast um, because yeah. it'll usually get ignored. Got a lot of that. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will though add as a producer that, you know, it, to me sometimes initially, at least a couple of years ago before we started this great digital transformation at UNICEF, it was a, a, all the technology and platforms and audience, sort of that can get a little overwhelming, but what stayed the same for me is the solid elements of storytelling and you're all ace storytellers. So I think it's just, it's just the question of using all those fundamental uh, skills that you already have and just finding the right audience and platforms and formats 